Hey guys, it's Ryan here from Sugarland Baptist, and I want to touch base with you about uh, an important upcoming event. Next Wednesday, April the 20th at 6.30 p.m., we have our next Coffee with the Youth Minister, and Debbie and I are really looking forward to meeting back with some parents to go back over what we began in January. We began a conversation in January about a new thing for our church and our parent ministry called ROPES. That stands for Rites of Passage Experiences, and that could be anything from talking to a student about how they're going to get a license next year, and if they're getting a license, what does that mean uh, for who they are in Christ? What does it mean how they drive, and whether they text or drive, and what that has to do with their faith, and who you've raised them to be? It's about preempting some conversations where there would be conflict anyway, and doing so very intentionally, and not focusing on whether or not the student always makes the perfect choice, but how do we model discipleship for them, even in those situations? How do we show what we expect and show ways to encourage them and, and give them uh, confidence in their ability to go out when they're 18 and be adults that you can be proud of? So that's something we began in January, and this April the 20th, next Wednesday, we are going to continue that conversation. We're going to invite everyone back in who's been working on this, and everyone who hasn't been. If this is your first time to come to a Coffee with the Youth Minister, and you don't know what ropes is, that's fine, come on. And we're going to have a conversation with parents who have been trying to disciple students and trying to, to be preemptive about some conversations, and we want to invite you to come and be a part of that conversation as well. We have upcoming opportunities in the youth ministry we also want to talk about and tell you some things that are going on. And we also want to answer a couple questions that we have had. Uh, we always have parents who are coming in saying, my student isn't as active as I want in the youth ministry. They don't have as many friends. What are some opportunities? What are some ways that we can get them plugged in? In our youth group, we have a lot of different ingredients on the shelf, and sometimes you're trying to cook a particular dish to get something going for your student, and we can tell you which one of those ingredients, what things that we do might help you the best, and we want to talk to you about that as well. Uh, we also have had some conversations with parents who said, you know, I think this should be in the ropes curriculum. I think this is something uh, that we should add or we should take away or tweak, and we especially want to have those conversations during this time. It's going to be a great time for our parents and our youth group. We have coffee, we have tea, we've got water and cookies, most importantly cookies, that will be there that evening as we sit and talk and have fellowship and try to learn new ways to disciple our students. We really, really hope to see you there. Looking forward to it next Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. God bless.